Now, I don't even know where to start with this. Um, uh, uh, no, there is a guy. His name is Jersey Jerry on Twitter. I'm just going to play the clip for you, and then we'll talk after. Roll the clip. Jersey Jerry here just left the GT Sports Marketing event. Um, you, you, want, you want to talk about a crumb bum, scum bum, punk. You're talking about the Chicago Bears quarterback. I won't even say his name because he's that irrelevant to me. That name means nothing. Disrespectful, not humble at all. Asked him for a picture. I got a roll of the eyes. And sure, I guess. Um, bottom of the barrel type of guy. Um, for all you Bears fans out there, you guys should be ashamed of yourself. You really, really should to call this guy your quarterback. Just a bad, bad guy all the way around. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what to say about that, except I did some research, and this guy is a Steelers fan. Now, he's okay with his quarterback for the past 20 years to be whatever he did. I don't even remember. He was a pretty much a pedophile. He's okay with that. But he's not okay with Justin Fields. Meh, I guess. Whatever, I'll take a picture with you. Go fuck yourself. Fuck you. You still got your goddamn picture. Just because you're a sensitive little pussy doesn't mean you can say, all Bears fans, I hope you're ashamed to have this guy as your quarterback. Go actually, go fuck yourself. Fuck off. Actually, I'm glad this happened because you're dumbass. I don't want you anywhere near my quarterback ever again. Stay goddamn three states away from my goddamn quarterback. I'm glad this happened because... That's it. That's what I want you to do. Stay the fuck away from my quarterback. You actually have the most punchable face I've ever seen. And, and I said that before I even watched the video. This guy's a fucking loser. And then I watched the video. I, I actually wanted to punch you in the face. You have the most punchable face in the goddamn galaxy. Go fuck yourself. Do not talk about, do not talk shit about my quarterback. And by the way, don't post it on goddamn Twitter. The, the Bears do not have the worst fan base, but we have the we probably have the most defensive fan base. We we're not we're not we know we suck. We know we sucked. We sucked for years. We we will make fun of you, or we will make fun of our franchise with you, but do not fucking make fun of our quarterback or or talk shit about our quarterback, because we will get defensive. I do not take that fucking lightly. Do not talk. I don't give a shit. What? I don't give a shit. What the fuck happened? Justin Fields might have been having a bad day. You, do you consider that your fucking in, inflated ego? Who the hell are you anyway? What? Like, why do you have that many followers? Why are you certified on Twitter? I actually want to know what your takes are because this was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So I'm assuming that your other takes are also fucking stupid. So what low IQ people, what low IQ people are going to be, oh, I like this guy's takes. I like this guy's opinions. I'm going to hit the follow button. Your fucking followers are probably just as retarded as you. I'm sorry to use that word, but you're retarded. You are retarded. Go fuck yourself. Stay the goddamn way out, out of my way, out of my quarterback's way. And um, also, play the other clip. This is what else he had to say. Jerry, oh, stop complaining. Oh, asking for a picture from another guy. Yeah, that's their job, dummies. That's what they were there today to do, to take pictures and do autographs. And, and all you guys saying, oh, I would never ask for a picture. Never. Bullshit. Bullshit! You all would have asked for a picture, okay? All you guys. So stop lying to yourself. I was never a fan of this guy. Never. But I respected him up until this point. I did. I showed respect because he never showed me disrespect until today. So all you guys saying I'm crying over a picture. Hello? The event was for pictures and autographs, alright? That's what it was for. 
So don't be coming at me on Twitter. Oh, Jersey Jerry, stop crying. He don't need to take a picture with you. Yeah, he did. That was his job today. Picture this. Picture this, dummy. Picture this. I went to Comic-Con a few months ago, and I got in line to get my, uh, my autograph or an autograph from whatever celebrity I forgot. And right when I was up next, I was the next person. They, uh, the celebrity had to go or, or something came up and they said no more signatures. Justin Fields does not owe you anything. He didn't owe you a picture. You're fucking lucky you even got one. I'd be on my knees being like, Justin Fields, please give me a picture. You're a piece of shit. And I know you're not a fucking fan of the Bears, but just like my Comic-Con thing, he, I didn't need a picture. I was like, okay, whatever. I didn't need an autograph from that celebrity because he doesn't owe me anything. He's not going to fucking sign everybody's autograph in the goddamn Comic-Con. He's not going to give everybody a picture. He probably took fucking 500 pictures that day. Justin Fields was probably tired of taking pictures with people. Oh my God! Wah, wah, you didn't take a picture with me. <laughs> you have the worst. You have a quarterback worse than Aaron Rodgers. You you have he, he's quoted. He is a bottom of a, of the barrel quarterback. Worse than Aaron Rodgers. Worse than Deshaun Watson. Worse than Ben Roethlisberger. Bottom of the barrel. I don't think you understand what that means. I mean, he's the bottom. He's the bottom of the quarterbacks. Holy shit. This is, this is probably one of the dumbest people. I know Twitter is fucking stupid, and it's one of the worst social media apps, but this is one of the worst things I've ever seen on, on Twitter. I, I don't even know what... And then Vikings fans and Packers fans are like, yeah, we knew, we knew Justin Fields was a piece of shit. You have Aaron Rodgers and Kirk Cousins as your quarterback. They both will not get vaccinated. Go absolutely fuck yourself... Block me if you want. This I've, I commented on him. I, I was I saw this at work and I could not be more pissed off. This guy is the scum of the earth. Go back to fucking Pittsburgh and go suck on our downgrade. Our we upgraded Mitchell Trubisky. Go fucking have fun with him because he is definitely not the answer in Pittsburgh. I'm sorry to tell you that, buddy. And I know Mr. Trubisky's really nice, but I guarantee you he has had those days where he has taken pictures with so many people where he probably just wants to go home and he goes, oh, Yeah, I guess I can take a picture with you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I guarantee you this is what happened. Yo, can I take a picture with you, Justin Fields? Sure, I guess. They got the picture. And then he walked away. You were going to judge Justin Fields his whole life, his whole personality, off of three seconds. Go fuck yourself. I don't know how many times I can say that. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of absolute shit. You have the most punchable face ever. And this is what, what happened. Justin Fields didn't want to... Boom! You get punched in the face. That's it. That's all that would have happened if I was there. Boom. You're, I'm, not, I'm not trying to threaten anybody. But holy shit. I don't know. I got to end this before, before I keep going. Because I can go on and on and on. And um, yeah, apparently... Actually, actually, I screenshotted this. I forgot to talk about this. Apparently, I don't know if this is real. But look on the screen right here. He, he, he added Big Cat, and he said, here's where we stand. You decide, me or that quarterback, you have until the end of the day. You pick him, then tell Dave, I resign and go back to Union Monday. Because of this little confrontation with Justin Fields, he is threatening to quit his job. What are you, what? What does Big Cat even have to do with any of this? And Big Cat said, Jerry, we talked on the phone. We said we will hash this out Wednesday and I will release a statement. Please give me a couple of days. Today is, is uh, very stressful already. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Because of this little confrontation with Justin Fields... Who? That's a, probably such a fucking huge misunderstanding. You're gonna threaten to 
quit your job that literally anybody would <laughs> what are you this is the stupidest human being i think i've ever witnessed what are you doing it's actually funny at this point. I hope you quit your job. You don't even fucking deserve a job at Barstool. Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I would love a job at Barstool and you're quit. You're threatening to quit. What are you doing? This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. I think he's he's literally he posted this and now he's crying to Big Cat because all the all the Bears fans are coming to Justin Fields like defense and uh, oh my god this is the dumbest thing i've ever heard this is the dumbest thing i've ever heard over something stupid i don't even know what to say anymore about this but but oh my god i hope this guy no 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 i don't i hope this guy gets fired i i don't hope this guy gets like he quits i hope he gets fired because he does not deserve a job at barstool i'm sorry you do not go fuck yourself and fuck the Steelers, Steelers fans. Not all Steelers fans are not like this, but most of them are. <clears throat> Barstool Carl, he's also a Bears fan. Tough situation with some um, important people involved. Knowing both, I stand by Justin Fields now and forever. I'm sorry, Jerry, you had a bad experience, but that's my quarterback. You don't pick and choose spots. You back your guy, and that's what I have to do. Thank you. Thank you. He, he explained it perfectly. Thank you. That is my quarterback. You do not talk shit about my quarterback. It's probably a huge inconvenience, and you're threatening to quit your job? What are you doing? What are you doing? I, I, this is just making me like pissed off. Like you, you, You're so entitled that you think people will give a shit if you quit your job? No, you can be easily replaced. Nobody gives a shit about you. Like I said before, who has such a low IQ that they're going to look at this guy's account and be like, this guy has good takes. He's got some good takes. I'm going to hit the follow button. If you fucking follow this loser, fuck you. Actually, fuck you. Go fuck yourself. If you're a Bears fan and you follow him, go please comment on him. Yeah, I know he's stressing out because the Bears fans are coming to Justin Fields' defense. And I know he's quitting the job. He's probably crying right now. I'm not kidding you. He probably is. Because he knows how stupid this is. But he is so stupid that he doesn't want to admit he's wrong. I, I, I had enough of this. This is the dumbest person I think I've, I've ever seen on the internet. Or at least sports internet. And um, I hope he loses his job. I'm, I'm just saying. I don't like to say that, but I really hope he does. From the bottom of my heart, I hope he does. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You hate me if you want. That's just how I feel. I'm probably overreacting right now, but, but fuck you. All right, I'm ending this before I keep going. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.